Welcome to the NetSuite training video provided by Trustangle Company. My name is Saris Siofi, and in today's video, we will be demonstrating how to fulfill your sales order. You can fulfill items on sales orders to track which items and services have already been delivered and which are yet to be delivered. And order are fulfilled by shipping the items to the recipient. And you can fulfill your orders either by bulk fulfill orders by going to transactions, order management, fulfill orders. Then you will choose your customer and the date. Then check the box of the fulfillment. Or you can fulfill your orders individually by searching for your sales order using the global search. As we can see, the sales order status is pending fulfillment. So we will fulfill the sales order by clicking on Fulfill. And most of the fields will be filled from the sales order that we created. And to know more about how to create the sales order, please refer to our video, Create Sales Order. For the item fulfillment number, the system will generate it automatically. Created from. This field shows the sales order that this fulfillment is created from. For the date, this is the date you are fulfilling the sales order, and you can choose another date. If you have any notes, you can write it on the memo field. On the item subtab, we will choose the item that we want to fulfill either one item, part of the items, or all the items. For the location, if you have selected the location during the creation of the sales order, the location will be populated automatically. Otherwise, you will select the location in the fulfillment process. And you can fulfill this sales order from different locations, but you need to fulfill each location individually. For example, Let's suppose that I want to fulfill only the first item with one quantity from the warehouse. And for shipping subtab, you can choose the shipping carrier, shipping method, and the shipping address. And you can also ship to different customer locations on the same sales order. For example, I want to ship for this address for Ariad. In the communication subtab, if you have any files related to this fulfillment, attach it here. When you finish, click Save. Now, if we go back to our sales order, The status of this sales order become bending billing partially fulfilled. Now we will do another fulfillment from the second location and to the customer second location. We will click on Fulfill. Going down to the item subtab, we will choose the location. Now we will choose the main branch to fulfill the remaining quantity. And as you can notice, the on-hand quantity for that item in our inventory is 10 quantities. And I will not fulfill the other item. For the shipping subtab, I will choose Jitta for customer location. And when you finish, click Save. Now going back to our sales order, as you can see, the sales order status remained bending billing partially fulfilled because we didn't fulfill all the items. And you can see all your fulfillment process from the related records subtab with the date of each fulfillment process. And to see this fulfillment details, you can click on the date to see the fulfillment details. You can also view the GL impact of this fulfillment process by going to the actions and click GL impact. Thank you for watching. 
This video was brought to you by Trustangle Team.